I had previously made a Mafia 101 video with the intent of explaining a game that is near and dear to me. However, that video is old, and looking back at it, I am not happy with how it came out. So here's a brand new one, now with 98% less backstory. Let's get dangerous and dive right in. One of the beautiful things about Mafia is there are limitless possibilities to round builds. You can build themes, roles, and mechanics to do just about anything. However, there are a few constants that I want to cover. Teams, phases, and what you do during those phases. First off, we have the Mafia Team, for which the game is named. Also known as Scum and sometimes Werewolves. They are typically the smaller of the teams, and they want to destroy the town. They start the game all knowing who the others in their team are, and they must keep this information a secret, or else they all die, and it's game over for the scum team. Next up is the town. These people are trying to survive, and the only way to do that is to fight back. They try to root out the scum team, however that's pretty hard for them, because they don't know who is who, and who isn't scum. They have to count on their instincts, as well as any other skills that they may have, in order to figure out who amongst them are out for blood. Finally, and you don't get this in every single game, but we have the third parties. These players don't fit into either faction. They usually have some kind of special power that could be helpful to the either side should they choose to help one, but they tend to be in for themselves. Sometimes they'll even have their own independent win conditions. A fool, for example, will win if they get lynched. A survivor will win if they live through the entire game. Sometimes these players are a bunch of mini factions, just each player on their own. And sometimes you'll even get an entire third faction that's made up of them. Now let's talk about phases. There will always be at least two phases, day and night. I've heard of more phases being used, but I've not personally experienced them, so I'll only talk about the day and night phases. At night, the scum team will vote together privately so that the rest of the town don't see on who they want to put a night hit on. Once the morning comes, that player will be found dead, and the day phase begins. If you're playing around with town rolls in it, there is hope, however, for this player. There will usually be a doctor role who will privately pick a player to save. The odds aren't in the favor of the doctor, however, because of how many players they have to choose from. But with a lot of luck and a little bit of skill if they are good at picking out who most likely hit targets are, They'll pick the same person the scum tried to put a hit on, and save their life. The Doctor isn't the only town role that acts at night. Usually there will also be a cop or a detective or a sheriff. This player will privately investigate another player to find out if they are town or mafioso. There are more possible roles, but in a basic game, this is usually all you'll see. This brings us to the day phase. The town awakens and deals with their dead, or maybe they're not having to deal with dead, but they begin voting. All the players, town and mafioso alike, vote together on who they think should be lynched as scum. There will be much debate, many questions, such memes mentioned, and then at the end of the day, the votes will be tallied and the town will find out if they lynched wisely. Most of the time, they'll lynch town. This continues back and forth until one of two things happens. Either the scum are completely wiped out by the town, or the scum equal or outnumber the town players. This is a really fun game, especially at parties. I first learned how to play at summer camp. However, it's also become fairly popular online. I moderate on a forum called Vendetta Strata, where we have rounds going almost constantly, sometimes multiple at a time. It's For us, it's all text-based, 
we're just sent posting back and forth and sending each other private messages and you know there's a lot of fun to it a lot of backstabbing to it we are uh, we play internationally so we play with people from around the world so we found that for us it works having day and night phases that are a bit longer uh, we have 48 hour day phases and 24 hour night phases however there are also sites like epic mafia where rounds go at lightning speed most of the rounds I've played on there are over within a few minutes before I leave you I want to give you just an example round that you could play with your friends if you can get your hands on like a simple deck of playing cards or just write stuff out on scraps of paper and give it to players you can run with this and just keep doing it over and over and have lots of fun and uh, build up from there I've also seen a, a box set of mafia cards with a whole bunch of different roles in it as well I've not personally gotten it but at some point I would like to get it just to check out what's in there. But for this example, we'll use playing cards. Uh, I would suggest doing this with seven friends, and that gives you a nice uh, two to five player ratio to work with. So uh, I want you to take out two face cards such as like the king queen or jack the two jokers and any three numbered cards uh, as you play more get more players you can change up what you use but for this example we'll just use those cards the king the queen the two jokers and three numbered cards have the king represent the cop or the detective for the sheriff, whichever title you want to go with, and have the queen represent the doctor. The jokers will represent your mafioso, and the numbers will just be vanilla townies. Uh, they won't have any powers, they'll just have to rely on their own wits. Dole out the cards as randomly as possible. I like to start with a night phase for real life games, however you can start with a day phase instead, but I'll have us start with a night phase. Have all the players close their eyes, lower their heads, make sure nobody's peeking around. If anybody peeks, just instant mod kill them, just say, you're done, go, you're dead. Ask the Mafia team to look up. Have them do so as quietly as possible point to any one of the other players. Once they both settle on one player, that player is their hit target. Have them go back to sleep, close their eyes, lower their heads, and ask the cop to look up. Have him do the same thing. Have him point at a player, only for this, he's trying to figure out if that player is scum. Once he settles on a player, either nod your head for yes that's scum if they are scum or shake your head no if he's picked a townie after that have him close his eyes again and go on to the doctor I'm pretty sure you can guess what we need to do with the doctor have him pick a player and that player will be who he wants to try to protect have him close his eyes again and then go into the day phase. If the scum managed to kill somebody, say so. Ham it up as much as possible. The scum tried to squish him with a giant cheese wheel? Go for it. The more flavor you put into the story, the more fun it is. And then you move on to the voting phase. Players all argue amongst themselves, try to figure out who's scum, and in the end, have a vote. Whoever ends up getting voted to be lynched, they die. Once again, ham up the story as much as possible. Let the players know whether they lynched scum or not, 
and then go into the night phase, and it begins again. That's it for this time. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy playing Mafia with your friends. If I do another one of these videos, I would like to uh, go into some more details, maybe go into tactics, or uh, possibly go into terminology that tends to get used on our site a lot. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and tune in next time.